What's up everybody, Dr. Houlihan here again. Today I want to talk to you guys about three easy fixes you can do to help resolve and alleviate Morton's neuroma pain today. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a new pair of shoes. And no, I don't mean your dad's lawnmower, New Balance 12,000 whatever's that come in a triple E extra wide. Those are not going to do the trick. The reason being, they make the midfoot and the entire shoe extra wide, but they keep a tapered shape in the toe box. What that's doing to your feet is it's whatever, giving you extra width through your midfoot here, but it's still squeezing your toes together here at the end. And the neuroma sits in between the metatarsal bones, and that is where you're going to have that pain. So you need your shoe to be widest at the end of the shoe so you're able to spread your toes out and alleviate that pain in between the toes. So what I've got today is a pair of Vivo Barefoots. There's many other brands. You can check out the other videos on my channel if you want a specific recommendation, but Vivo Barefoot is one of the many pairs of shoes that has a adequately wide toe box. So if you look at the toe box, both from the bottom and from the top, you can see that all the way up to the end of the toes here, it maintains that width. What that's going to allow you to do is spread your toes out within the shoe, and that's going to take the pressure off of that neuroma that sits in between the metatarsal bones. Now, it's not just the wide toe box that you're looking for with your shoe. The other quality that you want your shoe to have is a zero drop. What that means is that the heel and the forefoot are on the exact same plane. They're both parallel to the ground. The heel is not elevated up any more than the forefoot is. And actually, you know what, when I did that, you can kind of see what the problem is with this, is that this puts excess pressure on the forefoot right on the ball of the foot where that neuroma sits. Even elevating the heel by about two, two and a half centimeters can increase the pressure on the forefoot by up to 25%. And it only increases exponentially the more the heel is raised up. So you want a heel with zero drop, you want it parallel to the floor, so you can evenly distribute the pressure between the front of your foot and the back of your foot. Now, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get yourself a good pair of toe spacers. Right here I have the correct toes, and this is a pair of generic toe spacers that I got on Amazon. You can watch my review on these two products if you want more specific recommendations, but the reason that you're gonna to want toe spacers is because if you're someone who's not able to actively splay your toes and hold them in a splayed position all day, which most of us are not, I wear toe spacers inside my shoes every day, um, the point is to hold your toes in the space position and that alleviates the pressure on the neuroma. You won't get that, that clicking, that popping, that little zing that you get sometimes if you take a weird step and you have that neuroma pain. If your toes are spaced out, it's not going to be so crunched inside your shoe. Now, it's important to know that these two first two steps go together. It's difficult to fit a pair of toe spacers inside 99% of the regular athletic or even dress style footwear that's on the market today. You're going to need to buy a pair of shoes that are specifically made with an increasingly wide toe box um, that are more like the barefoot minimalist style. Those are the ones that are going to be able to fit the toe spacers inside. Otherwise, it's just going to feel even more cramped inside your shoe and it's going to make the problem worse. The next thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a pair of metatarsal pads. Now, these pads are from a company named Pedag. P-E-D-A-G, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, but they have a sticky underside so you can slap them right on your insoles. I affix them to a pair of zero shoes, zero shoes insoles so that I can kind of trade them out between shoes, whatever shoes I want to wear, so you don't have to buy multiple pairs. Now, these are not meant to go directly underneath the metatarsal or underneath the neuroma. That would only increase the pressure in that area. What these are meant to do is alleviate the pressure and sort of go behind that area on your foot and it distributes the force while you're walking. So if you can picture, if your toes are sitting about here, the neuroma would be somewhere up in here and this metatarsal pad is sitting down below that area. So it might feel a little bit lumpy when you first put them in, admittedly, that's how it felt to me, but immediately I had all day relief, every day. I've worn these for like several weeks in a row, every single day, and it feels amazing. It's a huge difference, um, and these three pieces in combination will typically give you all of the relief that you need. Now, the fourth step, which is a little bit more tricky, is to do foot strengthening exercises. Now, the reason you're doing foot strengthening exercises is for a couple reasons. A, to be able to hold your toes wide enough to fit some toe spacers in there and comfortably be able to hold your foot that way for the whole day. B, to increase the height and the stiffness of both the longitudinal and the transverse arch of your foot so that there's less pressure down on this metatarsal pad. 
and C, there is one million other reasons why you should do foot strengthening exercises. Um, I don't have a video on that yet, but I probably will soon. But foot strengthening exercises can also help alleviate that pain and can work in combination with all three of these other factors to alleviate Morton's neuroma pain. Okay, so those are my three quick fixes and one slightly longer fix to help alleviate and resolve Morton's neuroma pain. Comment down below if you've tried any of these methods or if you need any help with any of this stuff. Any questions, I'm open to talking to anybody. Um, as always, be on the lookout for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.